Okay, so in this example, we're going to identify horizontal and slant asymptotes. And it goes by the degree of the polynomial in the numerator and the degree of the polynomial in the denominator. So there's those three cases. So in our first one, g of x, the degree of the numerator is 3. The degree of the denominator is 3. They're the same. So this is the case 3, I think. Um, so we're going to have a horizontal asymptote at y equals 6 over 2. It goes by those leading coefficients. And we're going to simplify that to be y equals 3. And this is a horizontal asymptote. Um, let's see. The next one, h of x. So the degree of the numerator is 2, the degree of the denominator is 1. This is that case where it's just one more, so there's no horizontal asymptote. It'll be a slant asymptote because um, it's just one degree more in the numerator. Uh, and we find that by doing this division. So I'll put negative 2 in the box. I'm going to use synthetic division here. And we get 1, 1 times negative 2, negative 6. And then that's going to be a 12 and a 13 there, but we don't really care about the remainder. Um, the, if you're following along in the book, there's an error in their problem. But you get a slant asymptote at the line y equals 1x minus 6. And this is a slant asymptote. And so that was case 2, I think, when we were doing our cases. Um, and the last one, the degree of the numerator is 2, the degree of the denominator is 3. So the degree of the numerator is less than the one in the denominator, therefore it's case 1. So there's automatically a horizontal asymptote at y equals 0. So that one's a little bit easier to work with. Identifying horizontal and slant asymptotes.